In this video, we'll balance the equation for H2SO4 plus HI, sulfuric acid plus hydroiodic acid. It may be better to approach this as a redox reaction, and there's a link in the description how you can balance this with the redox methodology. But let's use a more traditional approach and just count the atoms up and try to balance it. We have two hydrogens here, plus we have this one here. So we have three hydrogen atoms, one sulfur, four oxygens, and one iodine. Product side, we have two hydrogens and then the two over here in the water, four of those, one sulfur, one oxygen, and two iodine atoms. I think I'd like to start by just balancing the oxygens. I usually leave those to last, but that's going to put a bigger number out there, and that just might make things easier. So let's put a four in front of the H2O. Now we need to update the hydrogens. We have the two plus two times four is eight. So now we have 10 hydrogen atoms, but we have one times four. That'll give us four oxygen atoms. So those are balanced. Let's try to fix the iodines here. Let's put a two in front of the HI. And the reason this is so hard to balance is we have hydrogens all over the place here. So we change one thing, we have to add them up again. It gets really complicated quick, but we'll try it. Two plus the two here, that gives us four of those, but now we have one times two. We've balanced the iodine atoms. So everything's balanced except the hydrogens, and that's where it's going to be a little tricky here. One thing that can help us is this iodine here is all by itself. So if we change the coefficient in front of the iodine, that won't change anything else. So here, if I were to get the right number of hydrogens by changing the hydroiodic acid, I could then fix it with the iodine. So I think I'm going to put an 8 in front of here. And I do that because I have 2 here, so 2 plus 8, that would equal 10. That would balance the hydrogen, so I'll put an 8 here. That would change the number of iodines, though. We now have the 8 times the 1, so we have 8 iodine atoms, but we know that's easy to fix. We just put a 4 here, 2 times 4, that equals 8, doesn't change anything here, and we're done. This is the balanced equation. With equations like these, it is often easier to use redox to figure it out, and again, there's a link in the description. But if you're careful and thoughtful, you can do it this way as well. Either way, you get the same answer. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.